the head of the Department of Epidemiology and Quality Control and Assistant uh, Director from Public Health. Thank, thank you. you very much for announcing. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, the Fondation Merrier for inviting me to be here as a part of this event once again, and I'm very happy about it. So I'm going to uh, give you uh, the situation in Serbia. So first of all, just to see where the Serbia is situated, for those who don't know. And uh, <clears throat> first I would like to say that uh, rabies is still present in Serbia but only sporadic cases uh, of fox rabies are registered in the last couple of years. Epidemiological situation in Serbia has been drastically changed since, 19, uh, since 2010 when the Veterinary Directorate uh, uh, have started a multi-annual project of oral vaccination of wildlife against rabies, which was co-funded by the EU. Previously, uh, we have solved the problem of, of urban rabies because in the late 60s we uh, have started uh, mass vaccination campaigns uh, for uh, dogs and with that we uh, uh, eradicated dog rabies in 1980s and that was the reason why uh, in that period uh, since then we don't have human rabies case at all. Uh, from uh, 1980s, we have a wave of sylvatic rabies, uh, primarily in foxes, uh, which, which was the main reservoir and still is the main reservoir of uh, rabies in Serbia, with occasional spillovers on domestic animals. Before 2000, uh, 2010, before that uh, oral vaccination campaigns, we have around two uh, 100 and rabid animal cases were diagnosed annually and uh, in 2017 we have only one rabies, fox rabies case. Uh, one of the uh, one of the main cause of that success in, in, in global is the Pasteur Institute in Novi Sad which is the national reference institution for rabies for more than 20, uh, 19 five years and uh, it is also, there is also a national reference laboratory for rabies, we, and we are responsible for all aspects of rabies in Serbia. Uh, it's also a national uh, coordination unit uh, with strong bonds with uh, veterinary service, especially with the Veterinary Directorate, Ministry of Agriculture. And uh, we have a permanent data interchange uh, which enables us to know the exact epidemiological situation concerning rabies case on a daily basis. Uh, we have in Serbia 27 anti-rabies treatment centers and they are timely informed about every result of the uh, animal rabies case and they uh, are accordingly, they treat accordingly the patients who were bitten from that animal. Concerning human rabies in 2017, we had roughly 17,000 animal bites, mostly dog bites, somewhat uh, cats. But luckily, we have no rabies deaths since 1980. Concerning post-exposure prophylaxis, uh, we use, uh, as a couple of years, four dose modified as an regiment on days 0, 3, 7, and 14. On day 28, we have abandoned that uh, fifth dose, and instead of that, uh, we are using serology testing because we are capable of doing that, and we are doing that rapid fluorescent focus inhibition test. If it turns out to be below 0 0.5 international unit per milliliter, then we order a booster dose, and after that, rough it uh, once again. It's, we, we are doing that because we have noticed that uh, the serology in the, uh, roughly about 5% is not well above 0 0.5 even after five doses of vaccination. We, used, uh, we, was, we are using Verarab uh, vaccine, anti-rabies vaccine from Sanofi Pasteur. 
we did last uh, last year around 430 people who received PP. Uh, 340 uh, people received rabies immunoglobulin. We are lucky uh, that we have our own production, which luckily didn't cease uh, as uh, in our neighbor uh, country, Croatia. And uh, uh, government or national health insurance fund is paying for that. Pre-exposure prophylaxis, we have we use three dose, 0721, <coughs> also with serology testing two weeks after the last dose. We use Verilab, as I previously said. Around uh, 80 people have received pre-exposure prophylaxis, mostly people at risk, uh, laboratory staff and others. And uh, the costs uh, are not covered by the government. Uh, they are covered by the institution where these laboratory staff or other people at risk are working. Uh, concerning annual rabies in 2017, we have only one rabid fox, nationally laboratory confirmed, and uh, the data from the veterinary directorate from the Ministry of Agriculture are the followed. We have uh, 95,000 of microchipped dogs and 280 vaccinated dogs. Uh, they estimate that there is uh, there are about coverage about 80 to 90 percent of the of the vaccinated dogs. Uh, some key action points, we have oral vaccination of wildlife against uh, rabies and, above all, uh, monitoring of the effectiveness of oral vaccination of campaigns in continuation from 2011. And from 2007, we have a systematic compulsory by the law, registration, microchipping and vaccination of the dogs. You can see on this uh, slide, the situation before 2010, it was roughly 200 and oral vaccination 2010, we have drastic fall and we have only one case last year. How does it look like in, in before oral vaccination of foxes? You see rolled rabies, fox, uh, 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 rabies cases all over the country, uh, 180 and uh, predominantly uh, foxes, some dogs, tw uh, 23 cats. So uh, it, the situation was not good. And now you can see the results, only one case here uh, with the uh, western border with Bosnia, we have only one case. It is very, very good. And uh, I would like to... Uh, see better. <laughs> uh, concerning post-exposure treatment, uh, we have some uh, challenges. Just a second, because it is too Otherwise small. Otherwise you go just next to and speak up a little bit. See, every time I'm going to do it. Uh, <coughs> challenges concerning post-exposure treatment, uh, we have uh, a steady decrease in post-exposure treatment because uh, people are more relaxed concerning the necessity of imposing post-exposure prophylaxis. And that is uh, very important uh, and uh, very, thank you, very crucial because uh, we have a politics of zero tolerance concerning post-exposure prophylaxis. If there is an indication, then we are doing that. So uh, that is a challenge that we are going to face with uh, because that relaxation could be very, very dangerous. And uh, the point is timely informing uh, the anti-rabies treatment center about the post-exposure prophylaxis uh, well from the uh, dog that was uh, that made and inflicted uh, an injury. And then uh, the next is uh, 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 the collaboration with uh, veterinary service is very good, and it should be still be uh, ongoing. The only information are in Pasteur Institute and in veterinary directorate, and. Uh, they are not always able to, uh, to locate the animal responsible. Uh, and we have also increasing number of stray dogs, but uh, the local uh, governments are, uh, municipalities are uh, responsible for that. And I do hope so they'll do much better, but uh, financial motivation is uh, very important. 
And we have also one pro problem also, uh, in a couple of years uh, ago, uh, we have a transition because uh, the, state, uh, the veterinary uh, institutions were uh, owned by the state. Now they are uh, privatized and the veterinaries are not so motivated to do their job. So, uh, because it's not well, very well paid if you have to organize to find a dog, to send him to the laboratory and so on. So that is uh, the part where could we uh, do much more. And uh, finally, uh, and I think the crucial, last but not least, uh, it is the, uh, sorry, uh, uh, sorry. Wrong. Oops. Yes. Uh, last but not least, information, education, and communication for me is the crucial point. Uh, rabies education initiatives in public schools and for all the uh, continuing medical education on physician <laughs> is the crucial part because <laughs> if someone who is bitten is coming to a doctor who doesn't know what to do is, what should be done, if, he's well, uh, if he doesn't know that, then we are in a big problem. So uh, we are trying to, uh, to, to do more about it and more financial res resources are needed. And the government, of course, uh, with budgeting that is the crucial point. Thank you very much.